If you've loved the latest James Webb space images, you need to see what I'm about to show you. ESA's Euclid Space Telescope has sent back its first batch of images, and they're some of the best space pictures I've ever seen. Known as Euclid's First Light, this photo collection is a dazzling tour of the universe's galaxies, and scientists are freaking out at what they're seeing. Euclid's photos call into question our ideas on how the universe evolved, give new insight into the role of dark matter in structuring the cosmos, and even let us peer into the past by capturing galaxies 10 billion light years away. Plus, the photos themselves are just awesome, especially the last one. I'm Jason and you're watching us adverse. Join me today on a tour of what Euclid has captured so far, from glistening galaxies and swirling nebulae to star nurseries and even rogue planets. Let me show you why Euclid is such a unique telescope and how scientists plan to use its data to unlock the origins of the universe. The Euclid Mission On July 1, 2023, the European Space Agency launched the Euclid Telescope from Cape Canaveral, Florida. After traveling about 1.5 million kilometers, it joined its siblings, the Gaia and James Webb Telescopes, in orbit around Lagrange Point 2, REL2. This location is ideal for studying and imaging deep space. It allows telescopes to keep the sun, moon, and earth behind them at all times, so they never interfere with observations. It's also close enough to Earth that communications remain easy. Since L2 keeps pace with Earth's orbit around the Sun, we stay close to our instruments. Euclid's six-year mission is designed to explore the composition and evolution of the universe. It will do this by building the largest and highest quality 3D map of the cosmos we've ever seen. In October 2024, Euclid started sending back the first pieces of this map. I'll show them to you in a second. As Euclid continues to scan the sky over the next few years, scientists hope the new data will help them understand the role of gravity and dark matter in the structure and expansion of our universe. Why Euclid is so unique? First, you need to understand the three key things that make this telescope and its pictures so unique. 1. Euclid's ultra-wide lens captures more of the sky than any telescope ever has. It gathers high-resolution light data from billions of galaxies, some as far as 10 billion light-years away. Compared to ground-based surveys, Euclid has four times the resolution and 15 times the sensitivity in the near-infrared. It can also spot objects hundreds of times fainter than the ones Gaia can detect. In a single observation, Euclid records both vast cosmic structures and precise details of individual galaxies. The result? An image that conveys multiple cosmic scales at the same time, bringing home details in a way that makes researchers giddy. 2. Euclid measures subtle distortions in galaxy shapes caused by dark matter's gravitational influence, creating a gravitational lensing map. This is key to understanding how galaxy clusters grow and evolve, while also revealing how dark matter has played a role in literally shaping the universe. 3. Euclid is creating a 3D map of the universe with two advanced instruments. The Visible Imaging System, the VIS, captures ultrasharp images in visible light to measure galaxy shapes and positions. The Near-Infrared Spectrometer and Photometer, NSP, he measures redshifts, placing galaxies in 3D space. In short, Euclid is kind of a big deal. The hype in the astronomical community around these images is real. As summed up by one Euclid project scientist, we have never seen astronomical images like this before, containing so much detail. They are even more beautiful and sharp than we could have hoped for, 
showing us many previously unseen features in well-known areas of the nearby universe. René Laurais, Euclid Project Scientist Touring Euclid's First Light Images So let me take you on a tour through Euclid's first light images, one by one, starting with our map. Thanks to SR's Gaia and Planck missions, we already have a pretty solid map of our Milky Way. But Euclid is tasked with gathering data on the dark parts of the map. So far, it has covered about 1% of the map it was sent to create. Between March 25 and April 8, 2024, Euclid took 260 pictures of the southern sky covering an area 500 times the size of the full moon we see from Earth. Putting these pictures together, scientists created a mosaic spanning millions of stars and galaxies. And remember, this is just 1% of what it's planning to do. Because Euclid captures both big picture and detailed data at the same time, researchers can see the sky at different scales, from the mosaic's extragalactic views to zooming into galaxy clusters, their cores, and even individual galaxies. The Perseus Cluster This is the Perseus Cluster, located 240 million light-years from Earth. This image shows over 1,000 Perseus Cluster galaxies and more than 100,000 faraway galaxies in the background. Scientists think the way galaxies are organized can tell us a lot about the distribution of dark matter and dark energy. You see, gravity might cause dark matter to organize itself into filaments, we aren't sure. But NASA scientists believe it's possible that where these filaments intersect, galaxies stick closer together, forming a cluster. The theory goes that if there were no dark matter, galaxies would be distributed evenly throughout the universe, which obviously isn't the case. While many galaxies in the Perseus cluster are already known, cosmological simulations predict there should be several dwarf galaxies there too. If we could see those faint galaxies, we could analyze their shape and distortion relative to the cluster and background to determine how dark matter is distributed. The problem is that these dwarf galaxies tend to be overshadowed by older stars shining infrared light, so they've evaded direct observation until now. Euclid discovered more than 630 previously unknown dwarf galaxies, which is a huge breakthrough in the study of dark matter. 